Hey there, Mission Control. Well, today we're going to talk about rules for the Real Martian Challenge. Probably one of our uh, shorter videos here, but or maybe not actually. Look, there's a lot on here. I wrote this stuff down here. We got some good suggestions from folks. So uh, let's just start. So if you're brand new, we're doing this thing. Uh, it's, I call it a demo, but essentially we're going to demonstrate the capabilities of this system. And in May, we're actually going to set it up where for three days and three nights, I have to live off of this system. So that means the energy as well as the food that I need come from the system. Essentially simulating what it would be like to be on Mars, but really just demonstrating the capabilities of the system, making sure it can work. So we have to go over some of the things that are going to be allowed and not allowed, as well as the rules of this thing that I can't break. Okay, so things that I'm allowed to do out here. Um, I could have a cot, <clears throat> so I can sleep on a cot. Uh, I can have my toiletries, like brushing my teeth and all those types of things, if I want to do that out here. But I'm also allowed to use a shower up at the house. We don't have a shower out here, and I'm not going to put one in. Just a waste of my time, which is very valuable these days. Uh, I can leave the hab to do chores, and I can leave the hab in case of emergencies. Otherwise, I have to stay out here uh, and use the toilet facilities. Uh, no cell phone. Got to use Skype over the internet. Uh, so if the internet goes down, uh, or if I don't have enough power uh, at night, then no Skype. We limited to 20 tools. Uh, I, the power used in the building during the day if it's sunny outside, is assumed to be coming from solar. If it's not sunny outside, I, and I'm, I need to do something with power inside the building, I, that's a problem. <clears throat> Got to come up with an internal power supply. The propane heater is allowed to run if it's needed uh, for heating the facility because it is microgreen production. We're not going to turn that off. And cooking has to be done out here with only stuff that's available in the building. That's food as well as energy. So that's electricity or gas from the digester to actually cook with. Things I'm not allowed to do. I, have, I can't sleep in the house. I have to sleep out here. Uh, I can't leave the hab to get more tools. I can't use cell phone. Uh, I can't throw away organic waste with exception of human waste. So what do I mean by that is when I'm done eating, if there's any leftovers, not that there will be, <laughs> I just hope there's food, uh, but if there are, I can't throw anything away uh, just in the trash. It needs to go into the digester. And second, the human waste, I'm not allowed to put human waste into the system at all. That is a food safety issue. We're not doing that, not simulating that. I'm not gonna go build a compost toilet or any of those things. None of that. I'm just going to go use the toilet up at the house. It's not worth my time to simulate the toilet. Um, I am not allowed to use power from the building at night unless it comes from a battery. So let's go talk about some of these things. All right. First up is power. So got my notes, got the rules here. Uh, during the day, all the power, if, if it's sunny outside, gets to come from solar panels. Just it, the solar panels cover everything, we know that. That's a fact. Uh, so during the day, using power is no problem. At night, however, anything that I need, personally, like charging my laptop, charging my video equipment, all those things uh, need to come from the building. Now, there is an exception. With the video equipment, I can't share stuff with you unless it's charged. So if, by chance, everything goes wonky, and everything fails, I'm allowed to charge my video equipment only so that I can record everything for you guys. Otherwise, watching nothing would be kind of boring. So that's the power situation. And this guy right here is probably gonna be key to all that because this is the biogas generator. So as long as the digester is working, I can have power right off of this. Or I can put in a battery bank system, which is one of the things that we've been talking about and I'm threatening seriously on doing now. Uh, so that I can actually run off of battery backup. This, that would be pretty cool if I did that. Well, in May, where we live uh, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, probably going to be pretty sunny. And during the day, it's going to get probably pretty warm in here. In fact, 
it might get so warm in here that I won't be worried about heating as much as I will be about cooling. But this next topic here, this next shot, that guy up there, the propane heater, he's, learn he's allowed to turn on for microgreens, which means the settings stay the same. I don't get to change them at all. They, they turn on for microgreens. We got to keep that all going. Um, I would love to simulate heating the building with the methane from the digester. Uh, maybe we could by the time we get there in May, but I'm not counting on it. So um, I'm not allowed to change the settings of the propane heater uh, to, to make myself more comfortable. Uh, if I want to have local heat where I'm at, like if it, it gets, still gets cold at night in May, um, but if it does get cold enough and I want heat, uh, well, I'm just gonna have a sleeping bag. I mean, that's just, that's it. But if I really wanted to demonstrate the system, I do have a little heater that connects to the digester that I can run. That's how I can do heating if I wanna do that myself. Cooking. All right, cooking has gotta be done out here. I, I can't use equipment up at the house, so I need to have cooking utensils. Ooh, I forgot to uh, limit how many cooking things I can have, like pan, fork, spork cooktop. Anyway, uh, so a primary thing I think that I'm going to need for cooking is the digester. I'm going to need that methane gas in order to have a cooktop out here. So I got to get that all set up. Um, and the real question is, do I allow for our smoker uh, to be used? Which I would so love to do because smoked trout sounds delicious. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because it is self-sustaining. Like it's all pellets and everything, right? So I could use that. Uh, to run everything out here, or, or not run everything out here, bleh, uh, to cook the trout with out here, uh, but it se kind of seems like cheating to me. I think I should have to use the digester or a microwave. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting a microwave out here as long as it's run either during the day or off a battery at night or off the digester. Either digester. Everything just comes back to the digester. So I am allowed to use the internet. Got our Wi-Fi out here. That'll simulate communication. I'm not allowed to use a cell phone. I'm not gonna have a radio. I'm only allowed to use Skype while I'm out here. But I can talk to you guys. Maybe we can do a live view. I am thinking about putting some cameras out here, some actual live cameras in the building. I wanna do that anyway uh, for monitoring growth, but also just to capture what's going on out here. So we might live stream some of that. Um, tools, uh, 20 tool limit. Max, so got to choose all the right tools. They all have to be out here before the start of the challenge. Um, toilets, I already talked about it, but we're not, we're not even coming close to trying to simulate the toilets out here. I'm, I'm not going to do anything with respect to that. I'm going to go in the house and use the toilets uh, in there. Um, water supply, so I really like the idea of recycling water from the system and, and drinking it. Um, I have the two dehumidifiers and I get five gallons of water uh, every two days out of those, out of one of those. So it, it is reasonable to say that I could generate uh, the quantity of water that I need to drink, but drinking water from a dehumidifier is not a good healthy thing to do, which means uh, I need to boil it first and then uh, make sure that there's no uh, uh, metal deposits in it that are unhealthy. So what I'm thinking is I should take a sample of that water uh, that comes out the dehumidifier, I should send it into a lab, have it checked out, I should boil it, have it sent into a lab and checked out. And if it is safe to drink, then I think that should be the rule. Otherwise, I'm just going to use the water supply of the building. Sleeping arrangements, probably somewhere in here I'll have a cot, I'll sleep out here. <coughs> Sleeping bags are allowed pillow will be allowed. Uh, I think that's about it. So I need to do a walkthrough. Uh, we're going to do that I think in the next video. Walk through the building. We got to come up with kind of our plans, things that we need to do. So I'm going to try to record that for you and get it up there. But these are the rules as they stand right now. Uh, thank you everybody who put in your suggestions to help write all these. Really appreciate that. If I miss something or if there's like a gee whiz, you should really do this instead, please make sure you put it in the comments. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think, you know, demonstrating the system and really using it uh, makes us different than other people who just, you know, make cool things. 
uh, we're actually going to try to get this thing up and running and actually truly depend on it. I'm hoping in 2000, by the end of this year, I'm really hoping we can eat all the food we need out of this thing um, for the vegetables. Meat, we have cows for as well. And I'm not going to eat rainbow trout every day of my life. But um, vegetables, I'm really hopeful we can get everything out of here by the end of the year. And these demos, the Real Martian Challenge 1801 and 1802, are really a way that are going to push us to get there. So. Hope you uh, join us for that for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.